As we consider the year ahead, many of us are asking the question, are we prepared for the good and the bad things that might come our way? Well, it's a question that we're going to be exploring in detail through our new partnership with the British Insurance Brokers Association. In a special programme, De-Risking the Future, we're going to be discussing the opportunities and the challenges facing us at a time when underinsurance has become a serious national issue and insurance brokers are facing unprecedented levels of regulation. Well, joining me is Chief Executive of Beva, Steve White. A very warm welcome to you, Steve. Thank you for coming in and talking to me. Um, this programme, De-Risking the Future, we're going to be addressing all sorts of issues at the heart of, of your industry. What do you hope your members are going to learn from what we talk about? Natasha, we're hoping our members will get a clearer view of how we promote the use and value of insurance brokers. We'll explore some of the key issues, maybe some of the solutions. Hopefully there'll be some thought leadership within there and also looking at some of the new and emerging technologies. Steve, I've been struck by the breadth of your industry. What would you say are your key objectives for 2018? Our key objectives, Natasha, are set out in our 2018 Bieber Member Manifesto. It's genuinely a manifestation of all the key issues our members have asked us to take forward on their behalf. So those issues include things like productivity, the overburdensome and costly nature of FCA regulation. We are already the most regulated insurance broking sector in the world. If you add into that the forthcoming insurance distribution directive, the general data protection regulations, the senior managers and certification regime, add that to business as normal and then bring in the uncertainties around Brexit. You can see why there are issues there. Insurance premium tax, some of the changing natures of risks that customers are exposed to. There are an awful lot of key issues, Natasha. Well, throughout the programme, we're going to be looking at all the issues at the heart of your industry. Uh, no doubt this is going to stimulate a great deal of debate. And uh, would you say that this is a good time to have that debate? Is it important that your voice is heard right now? It's very important that our voice is heard, Natasha. And our voice has been heard as well. We can evidence that back to 2017, the Queen's speech contained three pieces of legislation that our 2017 BIBA member manifesto called for. The world around us is changing, the nature of risks are changing, the nature of risks that our customers are exposed to are changing. You think of the, the, the awful fire at Grenfell Tower last year, the changing nature of terrorism. It's really important that customers engage with their brokers to make sure they're getting appropriate insurance cover. And the theme of our manifesto for 2018 is engaging. It's that broker to customer engagement. It's Bieber engaging with our members and Bieber engaging with the, the, the decision makers, the politicians, the civil servants and the regulators to put across and make the points that our members have made to us via our manifesto. So you've already made great strides, which is very positive. But there are, and you've already highlighted, increasing regulations around what you do. And, and that surely has an impact on your productivity. Well, Natasha, productivity isn't a term that we often hear banded around in the insurance broking sector. However, we were at the Conservative Party conference back in October when we heard a number of ministers and politicians talk about how UK productivity in the round is not as good as some of our European competitors. In our space, in the insurance broking space, productivity can be impacted by our regulator, the overburdensome and costly nature of our regulation. So in our manifesto, we call for two things. Firstly, we call for Treasury to reimpose a global competition obligation on the regulator to make sure they're taking account of the competitive nature of UK financial services in the way in which they write rules and supervise. Secondly, we're calling on our regulator to stop writing new rules. They've written so many new rules in the last five years and just say to them, no more rules, supervise in a proportionate manner against the existing rule book. Steve, finally, in this programme, we're going to be focusing a lot on technology and innovation. Do you see that as a challenge or an opportunity within your industry? And how are you tackling those, those changes? Very much as an opportunity. Insurance brokers have always been adaptive and innovative. We, we and our members see it as a process of evolution rather than revolution. Now, clearly, there are some big changes. We've seen a, a big increase in the use of drone technology for surveying buildings. We're seeing insurers using, starting to use artificial intelligence in certain underwriting and claims activities. We've created at Bieber a cross-industry working group, the Bieber Innovation Working Group, putting people from all sides of the industry together to, to talk about this with the aim of doing two things for our members. Firstly, to help demystify some of this new technology. And secondly, acting as a conduit between those that are building new solutions on the one hand, on our members who may have needs that those solutions could address. Steve, it's been great to talk to you and we look forward to following your progress. Thank you so much for your time. My pleasure, Natasha. Thank you.